I haven't really done a whole lot this week because I've been on the phone with health insurance and you know how that is. It's been a long process. But anyway, I've done a little bit. I worked on a tree. I worked, I made this Christmas tree. I don't know if you can see it. I hope it's not blurry. <laughs> I made that and I'm going to attach it to this, to the mirror. I finished this one. This is a special order. They wanted, they ordered a weeping willow on dark stained wood, so I'm doing that. I have to package that in a little while. I just wanted to show you these. I make these spiders out of beads and wire. Here's a here's a prettier one. Not a lot of people like them because they have skulls on them, but I love skulls. <laughs> and I thought I'd show you where I keep my wire and how I organize it and maybe how I organize my beads. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me how I organize my beads, so let me move some stuff. This is how I organize my wire. I had a friend make this for me. Um, it's just held on by a screw right here and he stuck a pipe through it just to hold the beads on. I added the front, this little front piece of wood right here, drilled holes in it. That way I can feed the wire through it nicely. Okay, let me put this down, it's heavy. And I keep all my tools in there and everything. That thing has been really, really helpful because it's a it's a lot easier to um, take more than like see I have three of the brown ones on here right now. It's easier to pull three at a time and cut it rather than pulling one at a time because you can cut way much more wire in a short period of time and it's really, really nice. <laughs> I'll show you where I keep my beads. Hang on. Let me adjust the camera. Hello, I'm moving to the floor. <laughs> this is where I keep my beads. I get containers from the Dollar Tree. I keep my bigger beads in there. Some small ones, but these are for spiders mostly. And maybe some Christmas tree decorations. These ones are probably for more for spiders and Christmas tree decorations and stuff too. I've got tons of beads, all kinds of Christmas beads, all kinds of things, all my skulls, I have tons of those. <laughs> yep, there's a lot. And then I have all these, these are just different ones, skulls and different big beads. Now these are the beads that I use for trees. If I can open it. There we go. In the previous video I showed you, I don't know where it went, but the canister that had these hooked to it. I probably have like millions of those things in there. Well not millions, but yeah. There's a lot. All different colors. I mostly use green, so yeah. A lot of the time when I want to make a tree, I come in here and I look at all the beads and I come up with like 50 ideas and then I don't even know where to start. Like I don't even know which one I want to make first, so and then I get overwhelmed and sometimes I just give up. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, usually when I start finally working on a tree, then I'm like addicted and Again, it's like I get artist block once in a while. I have an extra art space in the basement. In some of my previous videos, I've shown you that all of my art studio here and the extra one down, extra space I have downstairs because I ran out of room up here. So I used to keep the beads down there. I ended up always bringing them up here because I work on trees while I'm watching TV at night with my family. So I decided to just get them all in a container and keep them up here because 
bringing them up and down the stairs all the time was a mess and keeping them all in the living room was a mess and I'm not organized all the time. I'm only organized when I clean my art room and then I organize it and it's all nice but then the next project or painting or whatever that I work on it it's a disaster again. <laughs> so as clean as this room is right now, this desk, it hasn't been this clean in months. Like yesterday I cleaned it because I knew I was going to have to video here. <laughs> and I'm also working on a painting. I'll show you that one right now. This is the painting I'm working on. It is... It's made, I'm done, I've done it in acrylics first. And then I go and do all the details and oil. So, uh, if, you, if you'd like to see how I paint or my or any kind of instruction on how I, my process of painting or what kind of paints I use or anything at all, like, let me know in the comments because I can tell, I can make a video for that. I love painting. I love it so much. And I love making the trees too, but I get, I get lost in the paintings, man. I'll be, I can do that for hours. This is where I keep all my paints. I got all my small oil paints, bigger oil paints, tons of acrylics like acrylic paint is, that's cheap it don't matter if you're just doing it as an undercoat like I do with my oil paintings then I don't have to buy any kind of nice oil paint at all I can buy the cheapest thing that I can find like big bottles of it <laughs> I just tried that one for the first time this stuff I get at the Dollar Tree it's perfect it's a perfect place to go this is my palette right here. I just cover it and instead of having to clean the palette all the time, I just cover it with plastic wrap and then rip it off when I'm done. It's perfect. This is where I keep my glue handy. I use old paint brushes that are too frayed and to use for painting anymore. These little jar to put the paint, put paint, put the glue in and mix it up. Yep. And it just makes it easier because I can carry it around wherever. Oh, I also, I buy these. Sure. I'll show you a big one because on camera, the little tiny ones are going to be too small. But here's the, I buy these and I use, you know, the little stamp thing that comes with this. And these are, I put my initials on those little charms. And I'll glue them to the base so that everybody knows it's mine. Let's see if I can hold it still for you to see. I also make miniatures. I'll show you. Well, here's one. I do sculptures too. This is a pumpkin that I never finished. I was going to have it finished by Halloween, but I didn't have it finished yet. <laughs> I love this face. Here's one that I've been working on. I just, I had, the board is made out of a, um, a floor laminate uh, sample and I just cut it out and I used Sculpey clay to make the um, banana and the bread. They, this right here is one six scale. That's like um, a larger, like a larger doll size. So that's like perfect size for this all size. Those are mostly going to be on my Etsy page. I love working on doll houses. Um, I've I remade a Barbie dream house. I, I redid that. That's downstairs. That's some of that's in my, some of my previous videos too. And I recently, my husband bought me a doll house from a yard sale and somebody was getting rid of it. So I got it. It's a 1 12th scale and it's it's just awesome like i've already started to put lights in it i need to buy some more lights because right now they're just kind of temporary but i i'm totally starting from scratch renovating that and if you guys want to see a video on that too if you want me to do a series on redoing the dollhouse too that'd be let me know because that'd be fun that would be really fun to share i love doing the dollhouses too this is the dollhouse that my husband bought me that's the house and I love it and I can't wait to get started on it. 
this is the, the dream house that I redid. I still gotta do that room. I think that's about it. I mean, I really didn't do much this week. Any type of tree or, or painting or dollhouse stains or miniatures or whatever you guys would like to see, let me know in the comments because I'm, I'm up for it, you know. <laughs> okay, well, until next time.